saw Adama come off the track early. Do you know what happened to him? Uh, I think he just had a little knock, I think, from the weekend. Um, and he just he wanted to do a bit today. And he's just a bit sore, but I think he's going to be okay. But don't quote me, I'm not the physio, but I think he's going to be okay. It's uh, not the best news given the shortage of defenders already. Uh, yeah, no. Look, he's uh, he's a good professional though. He usually gets up. You know, he's had a, he's had problems here and there, and um, he always gets up for games. So I uh, I trust that uh, I think he'll be okay. Will you be moving back into defence with the shortage? Uh, I think so. Um, the way uh, we did some stuff today, I was back there and. Uh, you know, the boys in midfield did well today and, and we worked on uh, some defensive stuff today, so I think uh, you know, 90% that'll be there. The boys got over the derby loss? Um, yeah, it's not easy, but it's, uh, you know, we had a, we were in on, we're in on uh, Monday training and we had uh, yesterday off and, you know, it was good to, I suppose, you had to let it go because it's, uh, you know, we've got another game in two days' time, so, uh, yeah, we have, so pretty much saying we have got over it because, you know, you have to, and um, you know, there's a big game on on Friday for us where we have to we have to get three points. Um, you know, cause it's so congested at the moment um, with with everyone uh, you know winning, losing games, and it's tightening up a lot. What's been said in the aftermath of the game? Um, well, basically, it's you know anyone who's there, it, it uh, you know felt it wasn't wasn't good enough. Obviously, like. You lose a game four 0 and it's happened in the past. You know, not too long ago. So you know, we sh we should have learned our lessons from from previous games, which which we didn't. Um, you know, albeit a few decisions didn't go our way. But that being said, um, you know, leading into that, uh, you know, we we created our own problems and made our own mistakes. So um, you know, it's 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 just something we'll uh, you know we've got to really learn from. Was it a surprise considering the form you guys have been in, sort of the, the few weeks leading up to it? Yeah, definitely. I thought, um, you know, we're on top of the game at the start as well, and um, you know, it's been it's been something that's been happening. You know, we'll be we'll be doing well, and then um, you know, we we have a, a couple of stupid mistakes, and you know, people just not learning from mistakes that have been made, not on themselves, but other people have made that they can learn from, and um, you know, that's just that's just something that's going to come with maturity, and I suppose at some point it's going to get to if, if you're not going to do the job, you're just not going to play. Musky was pretty dirty in the after match about. Uh, Ability to give away cheap goals and worked out on his censorship, you know, not just one goal but two or three goals at a time sometimes. Um, no, I'm not sure. I guess if if we knew it it'd it'd stop, I guess. Um you know, I suppose it is disappointing. We end up having to score three or four goals each game just to win a game. Um, and you know, it's not like we can't do it because we've we've defended well in games, and and um, you know, majority of the game we will defend well, and then you you concede silly goals. So it's it's something that's creeping in, or has been creeping in, and um, you know, we're well aware of it. And it's it's just something I suppose where it's got to be, uh, you know, defending first. If you're a defender, you defend and um, do your job. You did speak about doing extra defensive work today, though. How would you describe? defensive errors like in the last few weeks I think you're averaging something like conceding three goals a game yeah which uh, obviously isn't good enough if you know the club's got ambitions to uh, you know to to do well in this league um, you know an average of three goals is is quite poor so um, you know that's, that's an area we need to work on and we're, we're doing that today which um, and it's been a positive response um, everyone everyone's doing well and um, you know uh, I just don't think anyone's hiding from it anymore and they're, they're well aware of um, what's going on is there any chance Adrian will come back ahead of schedule with a defensive choice? Uh, so like for this weekend or um, I don't think so. I think he's he's getting um, he's doing his fitness stuff so he's not out of shape. He's he's still doing well. I just think uh, I don't th I think two days time is, is a bit short for him at the moment. Has your view of the fixture that confronts you over the next couple of months changed considering what went on the last, last week, I suppose, with the not so much the loss in China but the travel factor and then the, the big loss on Saturday night? Yeah. Um no, I don't think so. I mean, I, I felt okay coming into the game, and um, you know, we've we ended up playing that game with ten men, and um, we still finished the game okay, albeit um, it was a bad loss. Um, you know, I don't think that was an excuse at all. I think you know the travel and all that was 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 really good um, compared to the past. What we had done in previous Champions League thing uh, campaigns, it was it was very good, and um, you know if. Boys are going to keep using it as an excuse, and we're you know we're not going to go anywhere because it's the way it is at the moment. That's what the club wants to do. It's where we want to be, and um, you know it's basically just playing games and less training really. So we're we're prepared for it, and um, obviously we just demand better from ourselves in the future. So there's definitely still a confidence that not only you can juggle both, but also succeed in both. 
Yeah, I think so. I think uh, you know why? Why would we? That's what we want to strive to do, and it's a it's a great competition, um, both competitions. So um, you know, um, I'm a winner. I want to win every game I play. So that's that's uh, that's just how it is. What do you think about the Socceroos and the scheduling? The fact that you won't have Milligan and Rogic yet. Brisbane on Sunday will welcome back their Socceroos. Do you think it's fair? Um, well, I mean, it's not fair. They they've got their players and we don't, but that's. Uh, that's the way it is. That's it's that's the way the, the games have fallen. I'm sure if it was uh, another way around, um, you know, they'll be feeling unfair. But I think it, it'll even itself out. In the past, players have missed the game on a Friday, and we've had ours back for a Saturday or Sunday. So, um, you know, at the end of the day, you've got players at your club that are representing the country. So it's it's um, you're just really happy for them to be there. On the outside, ACL. Why are you such a goal scoring machine these days? Um, yeah, it's the ACL specialist, I guess. No, I don't know. It's, uh, it's uh, I suppose it was my time to score some goals and I'm sure it'll dry up pretty soon. And you're a married man these days? Yes, I am. Enjoy the wedding? It was good. It was very good. Is it fair to say you're punching above your wife? <laughs> oh, get her off. She, she's pretty good looking. No comment. <laughs>